13 Action News Update sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Good morning, I'm Dave Corvassier, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, today nearly 550 higher education workers stand to lose their jobs after the Board of Regents voted to keep the vaccine requirement. The final vote was 6 to 6, 7 was needed to revoke it. Employees will have an additional 30 days to comply with the ruling. The Board of Regents are also preparing a letter asking the governor and state health officials to mandate student vaccinations. It'll be reviewed by the Nevada Board of Health January 14th. There will be several road closures today for all of the New Year's Eve celebrations. If you are celebrating downtown, some roads will start shutting down at 2 p.m. today. That includes 4th Street, Casino Center Boulevard between Carson and Ogden Avenues. All the city is asking you to do is please make a plan and think twice before getting behind the wheel if you have been drinking. With scheduled fireworks on the strip and anticipated neighborhood fireworks and air quality smoke advisories in effect today through tomorrow, Clark County Department of Environment and Sustainability says the fireworks may create smoke and particle pollution. The county is advising you to limit outdoor activities, keep windows and doors closed to limit personal exposure to smoke. We're going to be keeping our eyes on the wind as we think about fireworks tonight. We do see some northwest breezes developing as we head toward late morning. Temperatures uh, peaking around the mid 50s, a mix of clouds and certainly some sunshine. Highs around 55. Our New Year's Eve forecast calls for numbers dropping down to 43 by midnight. But with that northwest breeze anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour, it'll actually feel uh, like the 30s out there, so bundle up. 37 the low tonight, Saturday. Yeah, happy new year tomorrow. 46 degrees for the high, Dave, and we'll keep it chilly in the 40s right on through Sunday. Thanks, Justin. That was your 13 Action News Update. You'll find more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app.